Aloha. So this is day three of working and living on the farm. And here you can see my doggy. I want to show you um, how I set up the inside of the trailer a little bit different for the dogs. Um, so before I had these orange containers on top of the dog crates, now I've opened up the dog crates. Um, so my other dog is down there. I don't know if you can see her <laughs> down the hallway there. Um, oops. Anyway, right there. And um, so this way, uh, when I need to work um, in an area where they can't be, they have to be tied up um, or somehow confined because they can't just roam around the farm because we don't want them going, you know, in the garden area. It's not any way fenced off to prevent um, dogs or other animals from roaming in there. Uh, they do have rabbits that go in there, but for some reason they said they don't eat the uh, mature plants, but they will eat the small seedling ones. So they do the seedlings in the greenhouse. So anyway, so um, Tebow seems to like this. Susie's still warming up to it. And uh, so the things that I did today, um, I did three different things. So first, um, it was hot and sunny this morning. And uh, so we did some repairing of a wooden shelter that had a tin roof on it, um, right next to one of the fields. So this is where um, like equipment for harvesting or whatever we would need um, in that field would be housed. And one of the poles or posts, I should call it, um, was rotting away from termites or whatever weather. And so I had to remove that and put a new one in. So I helped with that. And my experience at um, uh, the disaster relief that I did in uh, Hammond, Louisiana in January of this year with Samaritan's Purse really helped because I had learned how to do uh, demolition inside houses that were moldy from uh, hurricanes and so it was kind of similar to that because I had to like remove nails and and use a, a claw hammer I think is what it's called and um, a crowbar type thingy sorry I'm not very technical <laughs> and so uh, so the farmer here was kind of impressed that I knew how to do that so so that was good and so I got to work out on my muscles doing that. Um, and then um, that field, um, it needed to be cleared out of um, any growth so they could be prepared for a new crop. So um, I used a hoe to just pull any uh, grasses that were growing that the tractor missed because the tractor can only um, do so much especially when it comes to like um, there's these pipes in the ground used for irrigation so you can't bring the tractor that close because otherwise it'll it'll damage it so so I manually used a hoe to work around those things so that was a pretty good workout um, and uh, then by lunchtime, it started to get cloudy and then rain. And then we had a major rainstorm. I mean, so much that I put five gallon buckets around my trailer where the water goes down and it filled up those buckets. I mean, that was just like amazing to me. It was like torrential downpour. So everything got watered today. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have to do it so that was cool and then um, so after the downpour uh, so I was inside with my dogs because I couldn't even have my awning open because it was so windy and raining so much I was afraid that the rain was gonna um, you know get stuck in my awning so I had to roll up the awning so the dogs can be outside and uh, so that forced us to have to take a break um, which was nice because then I had a chance to talk to a friend that needed to talk to me. 
and then in the afternoon um, harvested some basil lots of basil I couldn't believe how much they had and learned that you know for like selling it at the farmers market um, you know how the bunches of basil look so pretty well that's because they only cut off the pretty parts to sell so there was like just as much ugly parts I call it I don't know what you want to call it like the, the the bottom parts that are like more woody they have leaves on it that are edible and good but because they're on the woody part they don't look you know like they do in the store and so people you know tend to not buy those so um the farmer told me that i could use that basil to put around my trailer to keep the um, bugs away so i was like well that's cool i didn't realize that so something i learned and uh maybe you do too you didn't know that so so anyway um and then what else oh then i uh, had some more buffalo meat for dinner tonight um thanks to uh one of the other members of the community it was very delicious it had collard greens and carrots and onions uh, and hab habanero pepper so that was pretty good and had some rice with that and salad so and oh there goes Steve and um and and the salad I actually made yesterday um so so that's pretty much it for today and uh I will talk to you tomorrow to let you know what I do tomorrow so every day I'm trying to do something different um so that way I can get an idea of where I fit in so so mahalo for watching and i look forward to seeing your comments and uh, have a blessed night